Okay, we're hopefully you're coming back from watching our Adobe Spark post video, and this time we're going to look at a different part of Adobe uh, Spark, and that is Adobe Spark page. So uh, hopefully you already know how to log in, either using your Google account or your Adobe uh, account, your free Adobe account. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and go back to the three lines, and this time we're going to choose page. So Adobe page, Spark page, creates web pages very simply. This allows students to create projects uh, about their content area by using a web page that they can then share um, or they can use it as a for present presenting like a presentation up in front of the class instead of uh, always using PowerPoint or some other PowerPoint like alternative. Uh, so this is a great way uh, to do that. So once you've started your new page, you of course want to add a title. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to make this one. Uh, we're going to pick a, a World War II person. So this is going to be a social studies kind of project, but you could easily do this in uh, science or um, English or any other uh, subject area that you can pretty much think about. Uh, anytime you would do a presentation, you could use the uh, Adobe Spark page instead. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pick. Um, we're going to pick Harry S. Truman, um, the vice president, who becomes president at the end of World War II, and we're going to subtitle it. And you don't have to put a subtitle, but um, the accidental president. Okay. So that's our title. Now at the very top here, we can add a picture. Uh, so that's what this little plus is, where you can add a photo to the background of your web page. You can upload your own photo or get it from any of these sources, or you can just find a photo using Google's own photo service. So we're just gonna pick Harry S. Truman. I'm sure there'll be some pictures of him. Um, okay, so that's the warship, Harry S. Truman. Uh, here it is, President Harry S. Truman right there. So I'm going to pick that one. Maybe that's not the best one to choose. So let's try to find another picture instead. We can easily replace that picture by double-clicking on it. Should let us replace the photo. The problem is it's too tall and it's kind of a wide area. So we want to pick. So I'm going to put in President Harry Truman. Let's see if we get something better when we try that. Or what we'd like is something horizontal instead of vertical. I think this is a like a relief picture of him here. Ah, that's better. Okay, so now we've got our picture of Harry Truman. And under here, they can now add any number of things. They can add photos, text, a button, a video, a photo grid, and a photo slideshow. So maybe some text is what they need. So I'm going to come over here and find some information about Harry Truman. So you might, you know, maybe have a uh, some list of things that you want them to include, right? About about President Truman or whoever their their person or topic is, right? So I'm going to put uh, we're going to go up here to when he was. The 32nd president, 33rd president of the United States, right? And here's his dates of office. So we're just going to copy that and put that over here, right? So we're going to add our text. President of the United States. And then and 
and then the dates. So, it, of course, you can, you notice when you highlight it, you can change like the size, for example. You can center it. You can also choose to make it a little bigger, right? An H1 or an H2 is a little smaller. So H1 and H2, those are those are web kind of definitions for like a large headline or a small headline. So, so that's how you add text and how you edit text. You can also put in here, like I said, you can put a video, all right? So this is where you would put in the, um, the web address of that video. So let's go to uh, up here, make a new tech, a new tab. We're gonna go to youtubecom edu and we're gonna find a video. Um, Harry Truman, World War Two. So. We want to find out, you know, maybe something about when he became president. So, how about Harry Truman um, becomes president? So, here's one of these little 60 second president videos from PBS probably going to give you a pretty good overview of it. So we're just going to go down here to share and we're going to grab that um, the share code right here. We're going to copy that. Come back over here. We're going to paste that into the box and hit and hit save. And there it is, it added that video right there into our web page. Other things that you can add are, of course, you can add photo grids, slideshow, more text. So you can have different requirements of what you want your students to add, you know, to each section. So you might want to have them add sections about different things. But I'm going to go ahead and add another photo in here really quick. I'm just going to pick maybe a picture of the White House. All right. But notice you have different views. And one of the most useful is this window view. All right. And so what that does is you'll notice as you scroll up and down the page, you'll see that it scrolls up and down across the picture. So you can create these great little dividers between sections of your web page using very uh, interesting images from the web. So then, you know, you might want to have a little biography of Truman. I wouldn't suggest you tell your students to do what I'm doing, which is just going to cut and paste some text from, um, from Wikipedia and uh, put it in here. So you might want to have very specific, you know, instructions on how they would have to put that text, would have to come up with the text on their own, hopefully. Um, I just want to add some text so you can see what it'll look like when we have our finished web page. So we have that section, and then let's add another section, maybe a little photo grid down here at the bottom. So we're going to click that photo. All right. Save. See how easy it was to add a photo to the photo grid. We, it automatically just asked us to go over there. Um, so we're going to edit the grid. So we're going to go to the next. I guess it just, because of the size of the picture, it just decided to take up the whole spot. So we'll just leave that in there. All right, so what does it look like when we're finished with our web page? So we're gonna preview it up here. 
And this is what our final web page would look like when we're completed with it. Okay. So the video should even play. back to the web page from the video. Oh, it should go back to the web page. So tell your students if this happens to them not to panic. It always saves as they go along, right? And it should take them back into their project if it doesn't they can still go back to their um, desktop right their project gallery and find their project and, and re-edit it but it took me back it just was a little bit slow taking me back Did you notice it kind of scrolls through that picture oh, we're, we're not in preview mode anymore let's go back to preview mode okay there we go there's the video scroll through there's the other picture of President Truman and you could even have them put their information down here at the bottom notice it automatically puts all the image credits down here so that way you know exactly where all the images uh, came from so it really helps the students out with documenting where they got their sources from but you can also have them create another section so we'll just go back here you could have them go down to the bottom and they could easily add another text box down here where they can add their, you know, their sources. So they could have sources right here for all of their text, you know, and they could use MLA style or whatever style that you, that you want them to have. So it's very quick and easy to create a web page um, that they can use. So then how would they share this web page out? They're going to click share up here. And they would just hit that create link button right there. Oh, pick a category, education. Okay, and I already put put my name on it. They can, uh, they don't have. I don't think. I think they can remain anonymous if that's an issue. And there's the link right here. So they could just copy that link, right? And then they can email that link to you, or they can uh, paste it into a Google Classroom or a form. Um, however it is that you want them to uh, get that information to you. So it's really easy for them to share that web page uh, with you and with others in their classroom if they're in a group where you want them to uh, maybe do some peer review or peer editing of those pages.